Besides a camera, today at the House of Hacks we're going to look at one of the most essential and cheapest tools for a photographer's camera bag. The spring clamp. Hi, if we're just meeting, I'm Harley and this is the House of Hacks where we talk about things workshop related. Things like metalworking, woodworking, electronics, photography, and making things in general. The spring clamp, also known as an A-clamp, is super useful on photo shoots. Today we're going to talk about a modification that makes it even more useful for photography purposes, and then we're going to talk about a number of ways that it can be used. Spring clamps come in a variety of sizes, from huge giant things to these medium sized ones, these happen to be 2 inch, to these smaller guys, I think these are 1 inch. Personally I find the medium sized ones to be the most useful, followed by the smaller ones. I haven't ever found a need for the really big ones. They cost a couple bucks a piece and can be found at most large home improvement stores. I've also left a link below to where you can get them on Amazon. This will save you a trip and I'll get a small commission and won't cost you anything extra. To make them even more useful for photography purposes, I like to add a quarter 20 bolt with a nut on it to allow you to mount things like cameras and other photography accessories. To add this hack, for each clamp get a quarter 20 1 inch long bolt. I like to use the star lock washers, they seem to work a little bit better than like the split ring lock washers. A nylock nut, a, fl a flange nut, this, has, this is a nut that has a flange on it with a wider section on one side, and a large washer where the hole in the middle is large enough for the nut part of the flange nut to go through, but not large enough for the flange to go through. And also some two-part epoxy. Mix up a bit of epoxy and use it to glue the flange nut to the inside of the washer. The flange itself should be exposed and, and keep the nut from going through the washer. While that's setting, check your clamps to see if they have a hole between the hinge and the tip of the clamp. If they don't, you'll need to drill one. Some brands have a hole here, some brands don't. These don't, so I'll have to drill a hole. And I'm going to drill that hole just below where the plastic part of the tip ends. Then with the Starlock washer next to the bolt head, place the bolt through the hole from the inside so the threads are poking out. Use the nylock nut to hold it securely in place. Once the epoxy is set, thread that assembly onto the bolt with the flange part of the assembly pointing out. This gives you a place to mount standard quarter 20 threaded items onto. The flange nut works as a jam nut to tighten the item down and the washer gives you a little handle to be able to loosen and tighten it. So how can you use this? You can hold backdrops or reflectors to stands, tighten loose clothing on models, manage cables and cords, hold gels on lights, keep gobos in place, mount cameras or lights in awkward places, hang sound absorbing material to dead room echoes, or whatever you can think of. If you have clamps like these, leave a comment below and let me know how you've used them. I'll see you in this video that YouTube thinks you'll find interesting. And when making things, remember, perfection's not required, fun is.